Hi YouTube, I'm going to show you guys how to put custom firmware on your PSP Fat or Slim. Unfortunately, it can't be done on a PSP 3000 or PSP Go. Your PSP can be running any firmware, the newest one or really old, it doesn't really matter. And the size of the memory stick it does matter. You need to have at least 512, but anything higher than that, a 4 or 8 or 16 gig will work as long as it's not one of the fake generic brands. For this tutorial, I'm running Windows 7, but you, it can, it's alright if you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put your PSP into USB mode. I'm going to do that real quick. And as soon as you do, do that, this should pop up. You're going to want to click Open Folder to View Files. And if you have any PSP game saves that you've really worked hard at and you don't want to delete, you're going to go into PSP and Save Data. And all your files will be in there. Just drag it into a folder and you can just enter it later after this tutorial is done and it will be saved. But anyway, go back and select all of the files and delete them because you're not going to need them. And for this video I am making a remake due to the bad quality of my other video because I had a really old camera and now I got a brand new one so it's all good. Alright, you can drag that to the side. And for this tutorial, you're going to need both of the links in my description. You're going to need the WinRAR and the files for, to create the magic memory stick. After you install WinRAR, it's free. You're going to download that, and it should appear like this. Some like this. And you're going to go into the folder MMS and select these three files. And let me move that to the side a little. And drag them into the memory card. It'll take a little bit. Yeah, it's taking pretty long, so sorry. Just wait another 20 seconds. Alright, now that that's done, you're going to have these three files in your memory stick folder. You don't, you can minimize or close it, you don't need it right now. But on the WinRAR files, you're supposed to go back and go into PSP Grader. And open PSP Grader. It's just going to extract and click yes. Alright, so just install it now. I accept. Install, wait for that. And finish. Now you don't need this WinRAR folder. Okay, on your desktop you should get a icon like this, PSP Grader. And I, there's been lots of problems, lots of comments being left about the path is denied when you try to make the memory stick. So to fix that, just right click and press Run as administrator, and click Yes. All right. For this, you're not going to touch anything. All you're going to do is do find your memory stick over here and press inject IPL only. Scroll in green letters and you're done. Okay, you can close that out. And on your PSP, unfortunately I don't have it with me right now, but on your PSP when you go into save data on under the game game category, you're going to see Despertar Uno something. I don't even remember what it was called, but it's going to say Despertar. You don't touch that. What that's for is when you put in your memory stick, you're supposed to take out your battery, put in your memory stick, the magic memory stick, and then put in the Pandora battery, and your PSP will automatically boot. And from there, you can, you can select the firmware that you want. It's probably going to be the first one, and it won't even take that long, but maybe like three minutes to mod your PSP. But alright guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.